हिपेरिन इंड्यूज थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया और द हिट सिंड्रोम इज अ कंडीशन विच डेवलप्स फॉलोइंग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ अनफ्रैक्शनेटेड हिपेरिन इट इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स टाइप वन विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद माइल्ड थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया एंड टाइप टू विच इज एसोसिएटेड विद थ्रोम्बोसिस सो टाइप टू इज क्लिनिकली सिग्निफिकेंट एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज हिपेरिन इंड्यूज थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया एंड थ्रोम्बोसिस कमिंग टू द मैकेजम ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ हिट सिंड्रोम we know we have platelets and in the platelets we have alpha granules storing platelet factor 4 upon activation these platelets release this platelet factor 4 and the platelet factor 4 combines with heparin to form heparin platelet factor 4 complex the heparin platelet factor 4 complex induces b cells to produce igg antibodies against it so now there will be formation of heparin pa4 igg complex and the igg of this complex binds to fc receptor present on the platelet surface such platelets are removed by splenic macrophages leading to thrombocytopenia and the binding also causes platelet activation we know due to platelet activation there will be more and more release of platelet factor 4 and also the platelet aggregation will lead to thrombosis due to thrombosis there will be development of clinical features like necrosis of skin gangrene of limbs stroke and myocardial infarction For the diagnosis, we can demonstrate anti-heparin PF4 antibodies in the serum, and to prevent this kind of a situation, we should use low molecular weight heparin instead of unfractionated heparin.